Dad, what are you doing out of bed? You need care. They're kicking me out, son. No money, no treatment. Yeah, you need to leave right now. You can't pay or you're taking up space. What's your problem? My dad's dying. Sorry, but there's nothing I can do. You better leave or I'll call security. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. <coughs> it's okay, son. I swear, I'll become the richest person in the world so we don't have to suffer anymore. <coughs> Let's just get you home. I think I have a plan. It'll be okay, Dad. The roof is leaking bad. The house is flooding. Why haven't you been home to help me? I was visiting Dad at the hospital. I don't even know why you tried to get him help. Boys, stop fighting. I'm really tired. Dad, you can't stay here, okay? You'll just get more sick. It's our home, son. Please, just go see if you can stay with the neighbors. Oh, uh, fine. Maybe John next door will help me out. I can't believe they treated Dad like that. We're poor, Roger. You need to accept that. Well, I don't want to be poor anymore. I want to become the richest person in the world so I can take care of everyone and no one has to suffer like us. Stop with your stupid dreams. We were meant for a hard, sad life. That's it. So deal with it. Why can't you believe in me for once, Chip? It's not impossible to change your lives. Oh, really? And how do you plan to do that? By wishing on a star? I'll find a way. I'm not giving up on our family. You're just setting yourself up for disappointment. No, I won't accept that. I'm going to check on Dad. Hey, get back here and help me fix the roof. Ugh. I hope this place is hiring. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm trying to apply for a job. We're not taking any more applications at this time. I'm here to apply. Or three. Sweet! You just told me you weren't accepting applications. But not for people like you. I need this job. I have to get money to help out my father. You are too poor to work here. This place is for people who can afford to dress the pot. Oh, come on, man. You know that's not fair. Life's not fair, kid. Now get out of here before I call the cops. No, just, just hear me out. That's it. You're coming with me. No, get away from me. Get back here! I've been kicked out of every single place I've tried to apply to. No one will even give me a break. I just need a chance, and I'll prove myself. Well, I quit then! Fine, I don't need you. Um, excuse me, sir. I'd like to apply for an open position if you have it. Yeah, sorry, kid, but we don't have any open roles for, uh, you know, someone like you. What is that supposed to you mean? You smell bad, man, and I can tell that you're homeless. I don't have time for this. No, no, sir, just... I just need one opportunity to prove myself, please. I need this job more than I can ever explain. If you give me a chance, I promise I won't let you down. Uh, okay, fine. You can clean up the place. It's disgusting. You're the new janitor. Yes. Thank you so much. Your shift starts now. Dad, what are you doing? You need to rest. I don't want to. I'm tired of lying around. No matter what, I'm still going to be sick. Where's Chip? We went to try to find some food somewhere. I'm sorry that we have to live like this, Dad. I promise that it won't be like this forever. <sighs> we probably will. Or at least, I will. No, Dad. I'm gonna get us out of this poverty. No use, son. Our family has always been poor. And we always will be. Well, I can't accept that. Someday, I'll have enough money for us to each have our own house. With food and heat. That's a nice dream, son. <coughs> Dad, I promise, okay? I'll take care of everyone. Customer spilled something on the ground. Looks like a double extra chocolate milkshake. Go clean it up right away. Uh, I'm on it. Hey, I'm Todd. I heard you're the new janitor. Uh, yeah, I am. My name's Roger. Oh, what a stupid name. You're even more pathetic than the last person we had. Hey, what's your deal, man? L leave me alone. This is my first job. I have goals in life that I want to reach. <laughs> you have goals. So funny. You'll never get any of that, you poor loser. Look, get back to work. <laughs> Stupid Jenner, idiot. Oh, man. Really don't like that guy. Oh, man. There's no food in here. This sucks. Uh, hey, Chip. Oh, great. Finally, you can help me get some food. No need. I finally have money, and I got free food for us from work. Are you still trying to do that work thing? We need you at home, helping with the house and dad. I am helping dad. I'm helping all of us. Roger, get off your high horse and stop pretending you're a hero. You work as a janitor in a fast food restaurant. You're not exactly breaking world records with your wealth. Well, it's better than nothing, and it's a start. You're being selfish. 
quit these stupid rich guy dreams and just quit this job already. No, how am I being selfish? We finally have fresh food and some money coming in. This is the best situation we've been in in years. Maybe you should get a job too. Nobody's going to hire me and I have to take care of dad. <sighs> Chip, if we both have money, we, we can both pay for dad's hospital bills. You're delusional. I'm not gonna just abandon dad. You're so selfish. Your family needs you. I know my family needs me, but I'm doing the right thing here. <sighs> Whatever, Roger. Chip! It's my order. I ordered 25 minutes ago. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Oh, man. I've never seen so many people here at one time. Where's all the workers? Roger, look. Someone called out of work, and we don't have anyone to work the register now. What? Where's Terry? I can't reach him. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I'll work the register. You? Uh, you know what? Fine. Whatever. Roger, I, I didn't think you could do it. You came through when I needed you the most. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's the least I could do for the opportunity you gave me. That was probably the busiest we've ever been. Here, take this. What, a thousand dollars? I don't know if I can take it. Seriously, just take it. Thank you. You don't understand how much it's going to help me out. I really appreciate it. I can't believe I got promoted by the owner. I got a big pay raise. This is really going to help my family out. I'm not going to listen to you, you know. You may be my new supervisor, but that should have been me. Uh, you didn't because you kept showing up late, you don't work hard, and you're rude to customers. Ugh! You won't be owner for long. You're just some poor loser. Roger, Roger, quick. Wait, Chip, what's wrong? <laughs> it's, it's dad. Go quick. Yeah, run away. Oh, what? I thought dad can come to the hospital. I didn't know where else to take him. He's over here this way. Where's my dad? Um, listen, kid, I'm sorry, but he's gone. You just kicked him out again? No, not what I meant. He's dead. What? No, 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 no. You, you, are you kidding me? Well, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? There, there was nothing that we could do. You could have treated him months ago when he was here. Instead, you just kicked him out on the streets like a monster. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I was just following hospital policy. It isn't my fault they couldn't pay to be here. No! Ah! Ah! We got someone attacking me! Security! Can't believe this. Dad, I promise. I'm gonna do what I said I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna be the richest person in the world so no one else has to ever feel the pain that we're going through. I'm gonna give the money I make to everyone who's in need. Ah, that was a hard shift, but I'm happy with the work I put in today. Roger, Roger, you're a natural. I have never seen anyone make so much progress in business in such a short amount of time. Thank you. I've just been following my gut and everything that you taught me. Well, then, of course, you're going to do well if I taught you. <laughs> You've got really good intuition here. Profits are up 5x. It's truly impressive. Well, I'm just glad I could help make a difference. I just want to see this place succeed. And it has. You've been great so far. I want you to do more work with me outside of this restaurant. I've got big dreams, and I think we're going to make a great team. Wait, really? I'd be honored to work more closely with you. You are correct. <laughs> and to thank you for all your hard work and dedication, here's a little bonus. $10,000? Uh, thank you so much. This seriously means the world to me. You've earned it, Roger. Keep up the good work, and there's no telling how far you'll go. I won't let you down. I promise. You know, I know there are always challenges, but I'm ready to face them head on. Yeah, that's great, kid. Chip! Chip, where are you? What, Roger? What's going on? Look, I have incredible news. I finally got enough money for us to move out of this place. We don't need to live here anymore. I don't want to move from this place. What? You never liked living here. That was when dad was around. And I miss him a lot. And this seems to be all that I have left of him. Chip... You have to let it go, okay? Dad would want us to move to a much nicer place. You have to understand- No, that's what you want. You abandoned our family for this stupid job. You barely spend time with me anymore. I'm working for you, for us. We'll never have to worry about anything again. I don't care about the money. You're just focused on yourself. That's not true, Chip. I care about our family's well-being, and I've been the only one that's been taking care of it. I want to give us the best life that we possibly can have. Well, maybe you're- best life isn't what I want. Todd, can you take out the trash? 
It's overflowing. No, why don't you do that yourself, janitor boy? Man, we've talked about this. I'm your manager now. You need to listen to me when I ask you to do something. You're not my manager. I never said you could be in charge of me. I was given this job by the owner. So that means I am in charge of you. I don't care. I'm not going to listen to anything you tell me. Oh my goodness. You're acting like a baby. Todd, we're a team here. We need to work together to keep this place running smoothly. Team? You gotta be kidding me. I didn't sign up for this. I know change could be hard, but I believe in you, Todd. We can all make this work together. <laughs> oh, you believe in me? How touching. But that doesn't change anything. I'm not taking orders from you. Not now, not ever. Todd, just take out the trash. Oh, you just don't get it, do you? Man, you're all so stupid. I'm not doing it. That's your job, you poor idiot. All right, fine then. You're fired. What? You can't fire me. I just did. Goodbye, Todd. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to get back at Roger one way or another. Man, look at all this. I can't believe that I finally did it. I was able to save enough money to move out of that cabin and into my own apartment building. I know Dad would be proud. I just wish he was still here to see how far I've come. So this is the place, huh? Yeah, how do you like it? This place sucks. I don't want to live here. Well, Chip, I don't know how to tell you, but this is our new house. It's new, but you'll start to love it eventually, and it's either this or the streets. Yeah, well, then I guess I'm choosing the streets, because I'm not going to live here. I'm going back home. Why don't you want to live here with me, man? I'm your only family that you have left. Because I never asked for anything, any of this. I never asked for more than just the home. That's what dad would want. Dad would want us to stay there where we grew up. No, that's not true. You're being blinded by everything, Chip. Dad would want us to better ourselves. He would want us to succeed in life. Chip, where are you going? As far away from you as possible. Roger, Roger. Thanks for meeting me here. Well, I'm planning on making this the second restaurant. And I want you to run it for me. I'm honored by your offer, but I'm not sure if I'm the right person for this. It's a huge responsibility. Look, I understand your concern, but I've seen your potential, Roger. You're a hard worker, and you have a natural talent for business. I truly believe you can do this. All right, I'll give it my best shot. I have huge plans for the future, you know. I want to own my own company and a ton of stores someday. Honestly, I want to be so rich that no one has to go hungry or broke ever again in this world. If you do well here, I'll consider giving you the company when I retire. Wait, what? Oh, you heard me right. I don't think I can see anyone else running this business besides you. You just have to prove yourself. If you can do it here, then you're the perfect person to leave my legacy to. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. I promise, I'm gonna make you proud. I can't believe how great this is. I got a huge raise, I can buy my own apartment and get a car. Maybe I can talk to Chip and get him to work with me. He deserves another opportunity. Hey, Roger, what's up, dude? Todd, what are you doing here? Go away. Look, Roger, I'm here to apologize. I realized I was wrong and thought we worked well together. I wanna learn more from you. Wait. Really? After how you treated me before? You were disrespectful and difficult to work with. I don't know if I can forgive you for that, man. I know, I know. And I'm sorry. I had a lot of time to reflect, and I was wondering if I could get a job here. Look, I promise it'll be different this time. It's a new year, it's a new me. You really think I would just give you a job again? Uh, yeah? Why not? Maybe because you were a massive jerk to me every chance you had? You were terrible. Why would I ever want to help you again? Please, Roger, I'm hungry and I'll be homeless without a job. Uh, man, all right. I don't want anyone to be homeless. You can have the job, but you better be serious about changing. I hope you see this as an opportunity. Oh, thank you so much, Roger. You won't regret it, I promise. I hope not. We need you to start now because we're opening soon. Sure thing, boss. He is such an idiot. <laughs> Today is the day. Yeah! We're so excited! I'm really man. hungry! Can I have food? I really want some food right now! We're officially open for business! That was one of the most impressive days of business I have ever had! At a new store, no less! Well, yeah, I was offering a promotion, and it seemed to bring a lot more traffic than we've had in a long time. You never cease to amaze me, Roger. I just want to do the right thing. 
Just like you, I have my own goals. If we keep having days like that, we'll be opening more and more restaurants in no time. Those dreams of yours could become a reality more soon than you think. <laughs> I can't wait to go and tell Chip about this. All right, looks like no one's here. And I hate Roger so much. It's gonna be so easy to frame him for this. <laughs> you won't even know what hit. I'm just gonna put in his stupid access code. No cameras, no evidence. Roger really didn't think I knew about his stash of money, did he? I mean, it's money. I'm gonna know where it is. This is mine now. And when the owner wants his cut, he's gonna blame Roger for not having enough money. <laughs> Goodbye, Roger. Enjoy the fall on the face, idiot. Uh, hey, Chip. Can we talk for a minute? <sighs> yeah, but it has to be quick. We're trying to work on the house. Look, I know you love this place and you miss Dad, but I've got a great opportunity for you. And I want you to come work with me. I'm not going to work for someone who abandoned their family. That's enough, man. I didn't abandon our family, Chip. Stop blaming me for that. I'm working hard so I can take care of you. Oh, like you took care of dad? That is not fair. I couldn't get the money for his treatment in time. Maybe if I had some help. I'm not going to help you because it's a stupid dream you've had. So ugh, frustrating. Well, guess what? It's a reality now. I'm making more money in a month than our family has in the last 20 years. Oh, so you came to brag then, huh? No, no, I didn't, Chip. Can't you see that I'm just trying to help you? I want you to have a good life. Worry about yourself, Roger. What you do best. I'm busy. Something feels wrong. Where's all the money? Um, Roger, I need to talk to you. Why is all the money missing? Uh, I don't know. I locked the store after I left. Were we robbed? Well, you're the only one with the key, and there was no sign of breaking in. No broken windows, no busted doors. This is not right, Roger. Hey, what are you trying to say? Do you really think I stole the money? I don't know. I don't have the proof, but I have to fire you regardless. A lot of money went missing. I mean, a lot of money. You can't be serious right now. I've been loyal to you and the business. I've worked so hard to make this place a success. What reason do I have to steal from you? I want to believe you, Roger, but the facts just don't add up. We have to consider all the possibilities. Please, just, just let me figure out what happened. Your keypad number was the last one used. All signs are pointing to you. Well, it just doesn't make sense, okay? I promise that I can prove it. I understand you want to prove yourself, but I have a responsibility to protect the business. I just can't ignore this. Oh, there must be some other explanation, though. I'm sorry, Roger. My hands are tied. I have no choice but to let you go. Man, I can't believe I had to sell everything to start over. I don't, I don't care what happened. I'm still going to be the richest person in the world. I can't let this setback just ruin my chances like that. I need to find a new place to stay. I hope this is going to work out. Ugh, thanks for knocking. Hey, Chip. Good to see you, too. What do you want? Listen, man, I lost everything. See, I told you. It was a stupid idea. No, well, I sold everything, though, but I still have money. And I want to start a new business. <sighs> oh, great. Here we go. Look, it's a good idea, Chip. Just trust me. Your ideas have had you cloud it. You've been away from our family for too long. You abandoned me when Dad died. No, I didn't. I was working. I've been there for you, and I'm here for you now to ask if I can stay with you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can't be serious. I got nowhere else to go. I figured it would be good for us to maybe work together on this new business. It would be a great opportunity. No, you can't stay here. Are you serious? Yeah, you can't just leave and come back. You didn't listen to me. Trying is stupid. You should have just accepted the fact that we're poor brothers who have no other family and we're going to live in this broken down house forever. You know what, man? Your attitude is awful. And of course you're broke. You don't try. You need to stop being afraid of everything. Take your big shot ideas and get out of my house. <laughs> wow. Fine. This will be the spot. This is where I'm going to launch my fast food franchise. Wow, uh, you really want to buy this dump, huh? This place is absolutely disgusting. You'll need some serious cleaning, you know? Yeah, I know. And I'm ready to put in the work. <laughs> you're an idiot. This place will never be anything, loser. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. This is my chance. My chance to start over and prove everyone wrong. Time to get to work. Man, this floor hasn't been cleaned up in years. Just a couple more bags and then should be it for the trash. 
Well, it took all day, but I was able to clean it up. This is gonna be it. I wanna give back to everyone who's in need. Man, I just I wish I could convince my brother to come and help. He needs this opportunity. He just needs to see that this is life-changing. Ah, uh, whatever. At least I know that this is the start of my future. Man, hope the business picks up soon. It's been really slow. Well, 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 look at this pathetic excuse for a restaurant. Where are all your customers, Roger? Oh no. Don't be here, Todd. I have faith in what I built. <laughs> You call this a success? This place is a joke. Hey, uh, let me get a burger, please. Oh, sure thing. Ah, thanks. Wow, uh, this is the best food I've ever had. That burger sucks. Hey, you're the one who sucks, buddy. Just don't talk about this delicious burger like that. It's the best burger in the world. Oh my gosh. You know what, Todd? I've had enough of your negativity. Get out of here. Yeah, fine. But don't expect me to come crawling back when this place goes under. This place isn't going anywhere. I've worked hard to make this dream a reality. And I'm not giving up now. I'm not giving up now. We'll see about that, Roger. Hey, man, uh, keep up the great work, Roger. Uh, that's your name. I'll be back for sure. This burger's amazing. Hey, Dad. Um, you know, things are pretty hard right now. I'm still working hard, and I'm trying my best. I wish you were here. I'm sorry that I couldn't save you. I miss you every day, and I won't stop working until I can help other people in our situation. I know that that's going to make you proud. Hey, Chip. Sorry, I'll get out of here. No, Roger, I was listening to what you said to Dad. I know how hard this has been on me, and I see it's hurting you too. Of course it is. I failed Dad, Chip. I couldn't save him. It wasn't your job to save him. You didn't fail Dad. You did the best you could. Wow, you really think that? Uh... I appreciate it. No, I heard your burgers are actually pretty good. Yeah, word's kind of spreading, you know. You should come by and try one sometime. I thought a lot about what you said the other night. I want to change too. I get scared and wish I was as strong as you. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared all the time. Really? Certainly don't show it. Yeah, it's because, you know, you just got to keep pushing through it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Can I come work for you, Roger? Seriously? Of course you can. I want you to be a part of the company. I want you to be a part of all of it. Wow, I can't believe this! What is going on? What do you think's bringing all these people to your restaurant? I wonder if it's the discount I've been promoting. Yo, dude, this discount is amazing! I can finally eat! Three for three dollars? Incredible! Wow, uh, I'm happy that I made a restaurant where everyone can eat at. So this is what you've been working towards? Yeah, I mean, everyone matters in this world. I care about all of them. I'm gonna donate food every week to people in need. Man, I'm happy my vision is finally starting to come true! Ugh, I hate Roger so much. Who does he think he is? The coolest guy on the planet? That's not true. I am not gonna let this happen. Pathetic, poor loser. What is this place? Well, we've been doing really good and making a lot of money, so this is our next store. I thought we already had a store. Well, we're gonna open up thousands of them all over the world. This one is our next step to doing that. It's really cool. But I want you to run the store, Chip. Me? I don't know, Roger. Never thought I'd be here. Look, I, I believe in you. You have what it takes to make this a success. I know it. Yeah, but what if I mess up like I always do? We're in this together. We'll learn from any mistakes and keep moving forward. Just can't believe this is happening. Never thought this would come true for us. Well, that's the power in believing in ourselves and working hard. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks for giving me this opportunity, Roger. I won't let you down. I promise. I know you won't. Let's make this dream a reality. Together. I'm glad you enjoyed the burger. We take pride in our quality. Yeah, it's really great. Keep up the good work. Oh, oh, oh. You! I ate here yesterday. I feel terrible. This food sucks. Ew. Ew. Hey, leave them alone, you know. Their, their food is amazing, man. You think you're so smart, don't you? I'll make you pay for this. You know what, Todd? I've had enough of your nonsense. You're just jealous because we're actually making a difference. You'll think you're better than me, don't you? Just wait, Roger. I'll make you regret this. You're not better than Todd. You always try to bring everyone down, Todd. But guess what? I won't let you. 
We'll keep growing and helping people. And there's nothing you can do about it. This isn't the end of this, Roger. You'll see. You'll see, I tell you, you see! Um, can I just get a number four again? Thank you all for coming. It's been an incredible journey to get here. Our mission has always been to help people. And I'm proud to say that we've made a difference in so many lives. Together, we'll keep growing and spreading kindness around the world. Again, thank you for your support. I can't believe this. How did he do it? A thousand restaurants? Oh, what is this, Todd? Look at Roger's success and look at our restaurant. Empty. It's not my fault, okay? Roger's just a lucky idiot that's stupid and I hate him. I should have never trusted you. Maybe Roger was right all along. You better get your sales up, Todd, or you're fired. Trust me, you can't fire me, okay? I'm Todd. Yeah, and I'm the owner and I can do whatever I want. Get the sales up, idiot. I'll get my sales up all right by taking his down. Yeah, this will teach you, Roger. You think you can mess with me? You think you can make me look like an idiot? You think you're better than me, don't you, Roger? I have dreams too, you know. No one ever believed in me like they do you. It's not fair. You ruined everything for me. I'm gonna make you pay. Oh my goodness. Who would have done this? Wait a minute. Todd. It had to be Todd. He must have stolen the money too. It's been him all along. I guarantee it. Oh, this is just a small setback. We'll fix this in no time. I'm just sick of him. You know what? No, it's time to put an end to this once and for all. Uh, excuse me, what the heck is going on here? You have a deal, Roger. Awesome. Thank you for doing business with us. Uh, yeah, hi. Hello, Todd over here. What's going on? Roger just bought our entire franchise. He is the new owner now. Yeah, and first thing is owner, you're fired, Todd. You need to leave right now. What? No, 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 you can't do this to me. You can't. I lost everything because of you, Roger. How could you? It's time for you to move on, Todd. You've had your chance. Come on, buddy, this way. No, no jail sucks, I hate it. Mr. Rogers, Chip Westerly with Channel 7 Action News. Tell me, what's it like to be the richest man in the world? That's right, the winner of the lottery will receive $5 billion. Man, five billion, that's massive. I think I'm gonna win it too. Yeah, right, I'm gonna win All it. All right, and the numbers are three, six, one. Oh, halfway there and I got those numbers. Two. Seven, four. Those are all my numbers, just one left. And the last number for the $5 billion prize is two. Dang it, I was so close. Wait, I won. Yes, I knew I would. Ha, huh, sucks to suck, loser. Wait, that was just all luck. I was meant to win, unlike you. I don't need a lottery to be a billionaire. Oh, really? Then I guess you don't need a car either. Huh. What the <laughs> heck? Why would you do that? Because I'm rich now. You'll never be rich. You know what? I'm going to make you eat those words. Uh, yeah? We'll see about that. Whoa, whoa. What the heck are you doing? This is my home. Yeah, look, it used to be your home, okay? If you could call it that, it was trash. You can't just go around bulldozing people's homes. Yes, I can. Some rich guy named Luke paid me about a million dollars to destroy the entire block. Wow, Luke's at it again, huh? Paid you a million bucks just to... Yeah, and this place looks so sad. I figured I'd start with this first. Hey, Dennis, my buddy. Oh, Luke. Thanks again for already getting started. Man, the place looks better already, huh? Look, what do you mean getting started? What are you guys doing here? Well, now I can build a new helicopter hangar and put a couple more in here. I can see it now. The biggest helicopter hangar in the city. It'll be all for me. And this, sir, is for you. Uh, yeah, pleasure doing business, Mr. Luke. If anything else you need. Luke, why would you do that? Out of all the places you could have put your helicopter hangar, you chose my home. Yeah, so what? You're just jealous that I'm rich and I can do whatever I want. Jealous of you? Just shut up. This is private property now. You don't belong here. Get out. Man, this storm's getting pretty bad. I'm gonna need to find a spot to shelter from it. This looks like it'll work. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a whole lot better. Hey, what are you doing to my hangar? Come on, get out of here. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I just came in to dry myself off a bit. It's really Let going... Let me tell you, there's no good coming from robbing this place, okay? I ain't got no no, 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 I'm not here to rob it. I just needed a spot to hunker down. My home got destroyed. Well, that's unfortunate. But you can't make your home here. Got it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. 
Whoa, is, is this a helicopter hangar? Yeah, good observation, genius. Man, I always wanted to make helicopters. Yeah, that was my dream too. Old Reliable here has been my first helicopter I ever built. She doesn't fly anymore, but I still love her just the same. Well, how about this? If you let me stay here, I'll fix the helicopter. You fix Old Reliable? <laughs> yeah, right, I'd like to see you try. Alrighty, I think she's all done, sir. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Here, this for you, thousand bucks. What? Wow, I thought you were just gonna give me a place to stay. I really appreciate it. You know, if you're interested in some more work and you really wanna build your own helicopter, I could give you some help. Why don't you start up some sketches and, uh, and we'll see if we can make some money out of this thing. Man, that was some good luck coming across Glenn. I need to keep on the grind and make some more money, and I think this job will get me All there. All right, whoever works here, I need you to stop what you're doing and help me immediately, okay? I want the most expensive items in this store, and hey, you. Uh, hey, hey, Luke, how's it going? What are you doing here? I know you can't afford to buy anything in this place. Yeah, I, I work here. I was fortunate enough to get a job. <laughs> Really? You got a little job? That's so precious. Now pick out the expensive clothes for me, you poor loser. Look, you're only a billionaire because you got lucky. I'm going to get there through hard work and determination. Which is stupid, huh? We'll see how far your hard work gets you now. I need a manager over here. Hello? Hello, sir. What seems to be the problem? I'll pay you a million dollars to fire this idiot. Deal. Walter, you're done. He's paying you to fire me? Sounds like it. Get out. Uh, see hard work. Bye, loser. What on earth is this thing? Glenn, this is my first model. What do you think? You call this a helicopter model? <laughs> Boy, you must be crazy. I know it looks a little different. We should test it out. All right, all right. Let's give it a shot. Well, you gonna put this thing in the air or what? Whoa, 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 what the heck? What darnation, that thing blew up. I thought I did the maths right. Well, that thing is definitely toasted. Yeah, I'm not sure where I went wrong. Yeah, you just been off on your math or something a little bit. Oh man, you look really disappointed. Look, I'll help you make another one, okay? Really? Oh, that would be awesome. Now let's build us a new model. All right, the model worked. Now it's time to fly a real helicopter. You ready? I think so. Let's do this. It's working! It's working, Glenn! All right, just take it nice and easy around the city. It's incredible, she's flying like a butte. All right, now come on back to the hangar. Land it nice and easy now. Walter, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Todd. How you doing there, Walter? It's nice to meet you. Glenn said a lot of good things about you. I'm Todd, and I buy a lot of my helicopters from Glenn here. Yeah, him and I go way back. I told him about what you were doing here. He seemed pretty impressed. I too came from nothing, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you turn into. So here's $100,000. Call it my first deposit on the next helicopter you built. Wow, sir, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will make sure to make this the best helicopter out there. All right now, take care. Glenn, this is amazing. Yeah, look at you. I gotta admit your talent and hard work is paying off. It feels good being back in business again. You know, with this kind of momentum, I think we're gonna be billionaires in no time. 45, 55, $65,000. Oh, excellent. Man, it feels so good to be rich. Wait, what is that? Driver, stop the car. The heck is that? No, that's Walter. What's he doing in a helicopter? I know he can't afford it. Driver, follow that helicopter. Don't lose him. What the heck is this? Did you hear it has LED lights inside? The thing's so cool. Your helicopters are so cool. Here you go, sir. I'd like to buy like 27. Wow, thank you so much, sir. I'm glad you like them. We put a lot of hard work into them. I can't believe that. We've officially earned over $5 million now. We're getting close to our goal. We sure are, Glenn. This hard work is paying off. What is the meaning of all of this? Hi, Luke. Um, we're making helicopters. And people are actually buying them? Yeah, they are. They seem to be quite a hit. Yeah? Well, I deserve a cut of this. A, a, a cut? Look, you haven't done anything. I gave you the inspiration for the idea since I had the helicopter first. That's so ridiculous. And I don't have time for it. We have customers to attend to. Look at this stupid thing. So dumb. Walter's company is going to fail. Mark my words. Walter, I'm extremely impressed with you. Getting yourself a new home, working hard for the company, and I'll admit, you've kind of re-inspired me. The two of us have come a long way. Thanks, Glenn. I really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you giving me a chance, there's no way that I'd be able to get this new home. Once we hit that goal of becoming billionaires, I really want to utilize that moment to give back to the community. Well, that's awesome. I really like the sound of that. 
Who knew that poor kid that was hiding in my hangar would turn out to be such a great person? I really appreciate it, man, but it's just hard work and you played a big role in this. No, you are a great person. I really appreciate you working with me. I really want to repay your kindness. Come on over to the backyard. I have a surprise for you. Oh my gosh, you, you fixed old Reliable. Oh, she looks better than the day I made her. It's the least I could do, Glenn. You really helped me turn my life around. And you turned this old bird around too. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Thank you so much. That's it, I've had enough of this. I gave you my down payment months ago and I still haven't received delivery. Uh, really sorry, sir. You'll get your helicopter soon, though. You've been telling me I'd get my helicopter soon, a week after I gave the down payment. And I heard there's another spot in town that makes great helicopters and delivers on time. No, wait, please, don't go to that place. It sucks. Mine is way cooler and better. It's not about being cool. It's about product, efficiency, and delivery. And you don't have it. Whatever. Then you don't deserve one of my helicopters. Uh, sir, what are we going to do now? There's nobody coming in and buying the helicopters and those that do want refunds because they're not getting them. That idiot Walter is stealing all of our business. I think we just need to make helicopters. I think you just need to shut up, okay? Get a hold of yourself, loser. I have a plan, Mitchell. Don't worry your little dumb head about it. You see this helicopter? I need you to get to work. But, uh, I don't know how to make helicopters. Watch a YouTube video, idiot. Oh, okay. It's time to get to work. It's time for my payback. Ha ha ha. All right, Glenn, who are we working with today? No one. No one? That's odd, we've been jam-packed. Yeah, well, no one's coming to us for their helicopters anymore. Everyone's going over to Luke's hangar. Luke's hangar? I need to check this out. Just calm down, everybody, okay? Form a line. Hey, hey, Luke, you stole that design. That's mine. Yeah, totally did. Painted it gold and put seat warmers in it. Did you see the LED lights? Well, you can't just steal design. Well, I already did. And there's nothing you can do about it. My helicopter is way cooler than yours. And once I show it off to the mayor, I'm going to win the $5 billion prize. We'll see about that. No, that's right. Go away. No poor losers allowed. Eh, I don't know, Walter. Are you sure about this? Making a whole new helicopter? These new parts cost a lot of money. And on top of that, with the new factory, but I'm confident that if we make the best product, we can really do this. Spending almost all our money. <laughs> well, I think it's worth the risk. Plus, I think we should show that idiot Luke what a real helicopter looks like. It's risky, but this is the type of move we need to make if we want to become billionaires. Then what are we doing waiting around here for? Oh, let's get this thing started. Oh, wait. Well, what do you think? I think she's prettier than old reliable. Make sure you don't tell her that. <laughs> I think this thing has a chance to change the game, Glenn, and I think the mayor will agree. Uh, hey boss, I, I think we might have an issue. There's no way Mitchell was right. He's an idiot. There's no way. I'm gonna puke this thing so cool. What the heck? How did he do this? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyways. Thanks for all the hard work, Walter. Oh, I think it's time to upgrade my helicopter. What the heck? Well, look at what we found here, Walter. Come on, get out of here. Get, get on, get. Oh, stay away from me, crazy man. No thief's gonna steal our helicopter, not today. I can't believe he got away. That's all right, Glenn. Don't worry about it. Just because he got pictures doesn't mean that he's going to be able to make it. Yeah, I guess that's right. Helicopters more than just looks and pretty lots and stupid stuff. It's about the inside. As long as that works, we'll be golden. I just wish I hit him with that wrench, though. Wow, Luke, I can't believe it. This leather seat is so, so fancy. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, you're going to love it. Oh, too little, too late, loser. The Mr. Mayor already loves my helicopter. Yeah, I think, Luke, you made the best helicopter I've ever seen. It's amazing. Walter, you can kiss your business goodbye. Oh, is that right? I wonder, Mr. Mayor, does that helicopter even work? But of course it does, idiot. So insulting. Look at this. Oh, see? Hydraulic lift. You're nothing compared to... What? No! No, how'd that happen? Wow, this is a major disappointment, Luke. You almost killed me. No! I'm sorry, I just cannot invest in something as dangerous as this. Volta, if you don't mind, could I check out your helicopter? Mr. Mayor? Of course. I'd be more than happy to show you. So, what'd you think? Wow, and it doesn't explode like it looks. Amazing, I love it. I think I'm going to give you the $5 billion investment into your company so you can build more helicopters just like this one. Wow, Mr. Mayor, I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna use this money to give back to the people.
No one can know that I'm secretly a billionaire. Not even my own family. Tom? You're a billionaire? Jerry, you're not supposed to be here. Tom, listen, you are my brother, all right? How can you hide this from me? I don't want this money to change anything. Money can change families. Yeah, well, it's about to change this one. <laughs> Look it, I got some money! Jerry, get back here! I want this, and I don't want that. I want that watch. It's not your money to spend, man. It's mine. Dude, you're my brother. What's yours is mine, right? Not like this, Jerry. Hey, well, did I overhear your guys' conversation? It sounds like you guys are rich. Cha, yeah, man. He's a billionaire. No, I'm not. Stop telling people that. Aw, oh, man. Jerry, come on. Mom needs help at the grocery store right now. I'll explain to you how I'm a billionaire. Everything's okay. What took you guys so long? Oh yeah, sorry. I was just spending a lot of Tom's money at the mall. Wait, what? Tom's money? Cha, yeah, Mom. Tom's like a bitch. I was just buying Jerry an early birthday present. Oh, how thoughtful of you. I'm glad you guys are here. I need a couple more items. Jerry, what are you doing, man? Dude, do you know how poor we are? And I just found out that my brother's a billionaire. <sighs> Fine. You want to know how I became a billionaire? Cha, yeah, I want to know right now. Yeah, a few months ago, I was on a trip and ended up winning one of Mr. Beast's challenge videos. Unfortunately, there was a problem with the camera and the video never got released. And then I invested some of the money and now I'm a billionaire. Dude, that's insane. You're on a Mr. Beast video? I don't want anyone to know, okay? I don't want my life to change. My life's not all about money. I just want to be happy. Fine. I won't say anything. Hey, guys, I'm ready. Let's go check out. Hey, uh, you're short on money, lady. No, 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 no. That can't be. We're just a few dollars short. Can't you make an exception? If I have to make an exception for you, then I have to make an exception for everyone. And then all this stuff is free, and then I'm out of a job, and I'm broke. Is that what you want, lady? Hey, man, don't talk to my mom like that, all right? Don't worry. I've got this, mom. It's okay. Oh? Where did you get that money, Tom? Uh, I got a second job so that I could help out with everything, you know? Thank you, Tom. You've been so thoughtful recently. Yeah, of course, Mom. Anything I can do to help out the family. Oh, man. Who would have known college is that hard? Chaw, seriously. Hey, man, I know we're running tight on money, especially with college tuition. So, like, now that I have your secret with me, is there any way I can get some extra money for it? Yeah, man, I'll pay your tuition. You gotta promise to stop talking about this. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll stop talking yeah. about it. What's up with you two poor losers? You guys shouldn't even be allowed on campus. You guys smell terrible. Hey, man, can you just leave us alone for once? Like, we're way too old for you to be bullying us. Yeah, right, man. You're never too old to be bullied by me. I won't leave you alone until they kick you guys off of campus. You're pathetic. Hey, we're not pathetic, buddy, all right? We're richer than you'll ever be. Jerry, shut up. <laughs> yeah, right. In your dreams, losers. Even the best you're gonna do after this is nothing. Oh, I gotta go to my yachting practice now, so later, losers. Yachting practice? Oh, Tom, are you serious? How, how can you not tell him that you're a billionaire? He was just making fun of us. First of all, who cares what that guy thinks? He's a jerk, man. And I don't want anyone knowing, okay? It's no one's business. But if more people knew, then no one would make fun of us like that. They couldn't. We're, we're literally rich. It doesn't matter if people think that we're rich or not. What matters is that we try to be good people, and we do the best that we can to help others. You just don't understand, Tom, all right? You have all this money, you're not using it right. Come on, let's go home. Man, where the heck is Jerry? He never leaves before me in the morning. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's right, people. Look around, look around. <laughs> Should have brought that money straight to the I'm bank. Poor now. Huh? Look Jerry, how did got. you afford all this stuff? Stuff looks super expensive. Cha, it's mine, dude. Whatever. I'm just so rich. It doesn't even matter. You're lying. It isn't your money. Cha, it is. Dude, just mind your own business, all right? I'm not going to mind my own business, dude. You're literally stealing from me. You're just jealous of me, all right? Just back off before everyone here finds out your little secret. You're not fooling anyone, Jerry. You just look dumb. Why are you flashing all this money around anyway? You don't even have it. Cha, well, according to everyone around here, I'm the rich one and you're the poor one. How could you talk to me like that in front of all these people, man? Whatever, man. Just leave. Wait a minute. So Jerry really did that to you? Yeah, Spike. I, I couldn't believe it either. That was such a messed up thing for a brother to do. Well, why is he so upset with you to begin with? I mean, like, he just suddenly found a lot of money, right? I'm gonna tell you this because you're my best friend and we've been friends since we were little kids. But you gotta promise me you don't say anything, okay? This is gonna sound crazy, but I'm secretly a billionaire. A billionaire? So sorry, sorry, a billionaire? Oh, man, I knew this. I shouldn't have told you. You're gonna start asking me for money, just like Jerry. You really think I would do that? Uh, dude, I'm, I'm your best friend. I don't care about your money. That's what I was hoping my brother would say too, but that's not what's going on, man. It's going straight to his head. It's a whole mess. Why don't we go grab some food and I'll explain it to you, but thanks for being such a good friend to me. I can't believe it, man. He willingly told his best friend, but not his own brother. Wow. 
Man, that was such a good dinner. I bet it was after you willingly told Spike about your situation. What? How did you know that? Did Spike tell um, you? No, I... Fine, I overheard your guys' stupid conversation, alright? You're threatening to tell my secrets, and so now you're spying on me too? I don't care, man, alright? You lied to me for months about this, and you were just so eager to tell your best friend about all of it right away. He's obviously somebody that I could trust with that type of information. This money's gone to your head, and it's not even yours. You're doing exactly what I thought was gonna happen. You're treating me different just because I have money. Yeah, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the yelling? Nothing. Nothing's going on. Yeah, something is going on. Don't even think about it, yeah, Sherry. Whatever. I'm done with this conversation. What's going on, Tom? Is everything all right? Oh, no. Me and Jerry are just fighting, Mom. It's okay. We'll, we'll get over it. Don't worry. Yo, Jerry, look, it's your pathetic broke loser brother, Tom. Ha ha ha. dude, what an idiot. <laughs> right? Yeah, he should learn a thing or two from you, man, about how to be rich, you know? What are you doing in that car, man? It's mine. Do you like it? I bought it with my own money now. Now check this out. Dude, Jerry, be ah, careful. Dude, what I'm doing. I'm going so far. Ah! Yo, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I'll just buy another Lambo or something. Ha. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I can just go buy three more of these right now. No problem. Yeah, me too. Make it fun. Jerry, can I talk to you in private? It without this guy around what do you want dude it's one thing to steal from me but you're not gonna treat me like garbage in front of all these people too i can treat you how i want all right these people are my friends stop acting this way man nobody cared about you a week ago they always treated you bad just like me why would you want to even be friends with somebody that would be like that did all this money make you forget who you are all this money helped me realize who i really am okay yeah you know what you become a monster hey, watch ah, it. what is ah. wrong with you dude oh man i can't believe you you're supposed to be my brother Oh, great. You're here. What are you going to do? Lecture me again? Yeah, we're going to talk right now. Like about what, all right? You have all this money, all of it, just at the palm of your hands, and you're just doing what? Nothing with because it. because you have money doesn't mean that you should spend it. You don't remember how hard it is to earn because you've never had to. I'm the only one that's ever had a job. Like, so what? You're just going to throw that in my face? So what, man? Look, man. Family's the most important thing in the world. Chow, well then just give me all the money then, all right? Doing the opposite. You're gonna give me all that stuff back. Ch wait, what? No way, man. This is mine. Hey, well, it's not. And if you don't give me all the stuff back, then I'm gonna call the cops and you're gonna get arrested for stealing. Wait, what? So much for family. Take all of it then. Take every single cent. I told you you could have money for your tuition and things that mattered, but you abused it. So you're not getting anything from me ever again. Oh, I'm gonna get that money back if it's the last thing that I do. I'm going to handle this myself. You know, Tom, that was really brave of you what you did with your brother the other day. I just hope he learns from it, dude. Wait, what is that? Jerry over there? What are all those people? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, that's right. I called everyone over here right now to tell you all one important thing. Oh, no, don't do it, Jerry. My brother, Tom, has been a billionaire and has been hoarding all the money for himself. I knew it. No one believed. Jerry, stop this right now. Oh, there he is right now. Why don't you ask him for some money? I'm sure he has plenty to share. Give me some money, man! I want everything! Give us your money, loser! Oh, man, this isn't good. I gotta get out of here, Spike. Man, I can't believe it. Why would Jerry do something like this to me? Hey, man, uh, you remember me, don't you? <laughs> well, I've heard you're a billionaire, and, and Dude, uh, please, just leave me alone. Get back here! I want a new land. Hey, Tom, what's up, bruh? You know that I was just so messing with you when I called you poor and stuff, right? Not now, Butch, please. Yo, yeah, man, you want to hang out? Maybe rip a private jet over to New York, eat some sushi? No, I don't want to do any of this. I, I just need to go talk to my yeah, mom. Yeah, yeah, cool, man. Cool, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Mom! Oh, Mom. So it's true, then. Yeah, Mom. I, I didn't want you to find out this way. I was just waiting for the right time. You had months to tell me, and you didn't. Why didn't you say anything? Because I like our life the way that it is. I was covering all the bills. But you lied to me. We're supposed to be family. We're not supposed to hide things from each other. Jerry's going wild right now. And it's all because he found out my Maybe secret. Jerry has a point too, okay? Do you see this house that we're in? Do you really think it's no, ideal? No, it's not, Mom. And I was already buying you a house. It was going to be a surprise. No, I don't want to hear this. All of this money could have solved our problems. Mom, money doesn't solve problems. Just because you have money doesn't mean that everything in your life just goes away. I've heard enough. We are using this money to help our family, and that's final. Oh man, what a mess this money's created.
I know that we were gonna buy a house, but we don't need to live in something like this. You don't know what you're talking about, Tom, all right? This is exactly what we should be living in. We should show it off to the world. Mom, I'm guessing you let Jerry pick out the house. I wanted him to feel included. He seemed pretty down, so- Ja, we're rich! I'm gonna go ride my Ferrari! I just can't believe this, Mom. You let him back into this house after everything he did to me. He exposed my secrets, and now I'm supposed to just let him live in a mansion? I don't know what to tell you, Tom. I get why you're frustrated with him, but I understand why he's frustrated with you as well. I know, Mom, but this? This is crazy. Crazy. You can't hate your brother because of all of this. Yeah, well, you know what? I just don't think I can live with him, Mom. You guys enjoy your new place, but I don't want any part of this. Wait, Tom? Where are you going? I'm going to a regular house. I don't feel comfortable in this place. It doesn't feel like a home. And it definitely doesn't with Jerry in there being a jerk. Yeah, this'll do. This feels a lot better than that mansion. Yeah, 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 it's all yours. Uh, by the way, can I have a uh, 50K? Get out of here. All right, whatever, man. Jeez, I tried. Look at my family now. We're all disconnected and separated. Money was supposed to help us, not rip us apart. Hey, uh, Tom, how have you been doing, man? Please don't ask me for any money. No, I'm not going to. Calm down. Sorry, dude. I've just been going through a lot today with my family. It seems like everyone in the city knows exactly who you are now. Yeah, and everyone's treating me different. It's terrible. Yeah, you can look at it that way, but maybe it's not a horrible thing that you have all this money. I mean, maybe you can use it for good. Yeah, dude, you're right. That's a great idea. And we're gonna start right now. I, I can't believe this. You did this for me and my family? Yeah, of course. It's the least I can do with my money to help out. This is the kindest, most amazing thing ever. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't need all this extra money. Tom, what are you doing here? I just bought this family this home. Wait, wait, let me get this right. You bought these homeless people a home? Does he know who I am? Do either of you know how rich Dude, I am? Dude, you're nobody. Don't you get that? You have nothing. You have my money that I give you. Stop acting like you're better than people because you're not. Look at little old Tom, thinking that he has a point to make about everything. Well, listen here, all right? It's nice to know that you can buy this family things, but you can't buy your own family things. Yeah, because this family deserves it. They work really hard and can't catch a break. You're just a spoiled jerk who thinks he deserves everything. I wish that you'd go back to how you were. Whatever, man. That's not even why I'm here right now. What do you want? Look, I need more money, all right? So give me some. No, I'm not doing that anymore. You're on your own. Wait, what? You can't be serious. No, I'm done. I'm not providing anything to you. Go get a real job. No, you don't need to apologize. I bet it's tough being recognized everywhere. I know. Maybe at some point I'll just buy us an arcade so that we can feel like the good old days, you know? You know, that's not a bad idea. You're such a good friend. I wish my family treated me the same way that you do. Yeah? How has everything been going with that? Well, since I cut Jerry off, he's been even worse than he was before. That's crazy. He needs to be more thankful for everything that you've done for them. Yeah, neither of them are. My mom's on his side now, too, because I lied about the money. <sighs> well... I don't know. Maybe you should go talk to your mom. It seems like she'll be a lot more reasonable than your brother. Yeah, maybe. I'm just afraid she's going to ask me for more stuff. You can't keep going on through your life without a family. It's important that you talk things out. You're right. I've got to make things better. This job is so stupid. I can't believe people actually do this for a living. Work? Pathetic. I've only been working for a week and I haven't even made a million dollars yet. I can't believe Tom made me do this. Uh, excuse me, can I get some service over here? Or are you just gonna stand around doing nothing? Who do you think you're talking to, buddy? Uh, I'm talking to you. You've been sitting there yelling to yourself like a weirdo. I am not a weirdo, all right? Do you know how rich I am? Oh, uh, yeah, man. You look real rich to me. You should be the one that's serving me, you poor loser. How dare you, sir? I make a generous $100,000 a year. Yeah, well, how dare you, all right? I use $100,000 to wipe my- Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? This worker is having some sort of breakdown. I don't understand. My goodness, it's the third breakdown this hour. I'm so sorry about that, sir. You should ban this guy from here. He shouldn't eat here anymore. If I want to eat unhealthy food and clog my arteries, I can do it. I'm sorry, sir. I'll get that food for you right away. Jerry, get lost. You're fired. Wait, you're, what? I, whatever. I don't need this job. I don't need any of it. Hey, where have you been? I've been calling you multiple times I've this week. I've just been week. dealing with Jerry and... How much he's changed since I became a billionaire. Listen, he's been acting a lot different lately, and maybe it's time that you talk to him. He's changed too much. He just expects everything. He doesn't want to work. He doesn't want to do anything. 
He just wants me to give him stuff for free. Well, you are his brother, and you have all of that money. If he actually appreciated it, Mom, I'd give him half. But he doesn't, and I know that he'll be broke in a month if I give him but that much money. you lied to both of us. But Mom, can't you see why? I mean, do you know how bad it feels? You guys abandoned me. All you did is look at me as a bank. You're right, Tom. I'm sorry. I let the money go to my head, and I don't mean to make you sad like this. I don't either, Mom. I just want my family back. We were so close before. Everything's torn apart. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I think this conversation was the first step in the right direction. Thanks, Mom. You want to go get some dinner? Yes, that sounds lovely, and I'll pay for it this time. Yeah, dude, you deserve some of that money. Glad someone finally sees it that way. And once I have all that money, oh, I'm gonna do so many great things with it. Yeah, man, I'm just so glad that my dad's not like your stupid brother. Give me a million right now, dad. And he'll just do it. Shock, because your dad's not like a stupid jerk like Tom, dude. I can't believe that he made you get a job. Oh, I just got shivers sent down my spine. He only bought you one mansion? Did he even get you a helicopter? No, he didn't now that you say that. And ever since I've stopped walking on Gucci, nothing's felt the same. Wait, dude, I got an idea. We'll spill the beans, man. Yo, why don't you just steal the money, man? We can race our yachts, dude. It would be so cool. You know what? Tom wouldn't even notice it if we were gone. That sounds like a great idea. Man, I can't believe how many lives I've been able to change with all this money. It's been amazing being able to make lives better for people. And I'm so happy that my mom's finally coming around to my side of the story. Things are starting to look pretty good. Yo, stuff the bag, Butch. Hurry up. Yo, what are you guys doing? Uh, Tom, something that we should have done a long time ago. Jerry, come on, man. You're better than this. This is what you get, brother. This is a long time coming. I can't believe this, Jerry. You choose this money over me? You're the one that decided to leave to begin with. Yeah, because of you. Because of the way you've been acting. Because I knew I couldn't trust you around my money, and you're just proving that time and time again. You've been getting everything you want for free. Yeah, well, I try to listen to your advice. I try to get a real job. It's just not my lifestyle. Jerry, who even are you, man? I can't believe that you'd ever stoop this low. I don't care, Tom. I know we we're brothers, but consider our relationship over. You're not getting away with this, man. The cops are already on their way. I already texted Good them. luck trying to prove anything. What's that noise? Uh, Tom? All right, man, give me back the money or this guy's gonna arrest you. What are you even talking about? You stole my money, dude. I want it back. Officer, I have no idea what this man is talking about. Actually, yeah, you never really did show me any proof that he stole it from you. But I own this house. I I'm sure the money's in All here. All right, I'm the owner of this place, and you're not allowed. He's not the owner of this place. I yeah, own Yeah, well, from the looks of things, this guy looks like he's rich and stuff. He does look like he owns this mansion. If you want to be able to arrest him, you got to have evidence for the crime, all right? Jeez, another stupid call. <laughs> look at that, dude. Dude. I can't believe you, Jerry. You're just making things worse and worse, huh? How could you rob your own family, dude? Worked out pretty well for me. I got a yacht appointment at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. But you are the worst person that's ever existed. All I think right now is money, and you don't have any. Whatever, dude. You're not getting away with this. They wouldn't even arrest him? You can't be serious. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if I'm getting that money back. What are you going to do now? I mean, you don't even have any money. Dude, honestly, it's fine. Money destroyed my family. I don't really care about it. I think I'm just gonna get a normal job and live a regular life. And you're just gonna let all of this go? He robbed you. Dude, no, I'm not gonna let that part go. But I don't wanna start chasing money and fighting over it. It doesn't make sense. All right, well, if you ever need anything, you know you can ask. I appreciate it, man, but I have no problem working a regular job. I did it before and I'll do it again. Hey, man, uh, I saw that you were hiring. Wait, aren't you that billionaire guy? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's who I was. What do you mean by was? I don't have any money anymore. Yeah, like we're gonna hire a guy like you. A guy that loses a billion dollars within a week. What a loser! Hey, look, it's not my fault. I was robbed, okay? Yeah, right, buddy. That's just probably an excuse you're using to cover up the way you really lost it. How are you gonna manage my store, huh? All right, well, I'm sorry that's how you feel. I appreciate the opportunity, I guess. Shut up! Get out of here! Gosh, I hate you so much! Hey, Jerry, it's been a while since I've seen you. I've been busy with big picture things, you know, buying yachts, buying Lambos, investing in another Lambo. Look, it's been a while since we've bonded together, and I think it would be good if we spent some quality time together. Why would I want to hang out with you, all right? I got like a billion friends that are on my speed dial right Jerry, now. Jerry, why are you talking to me like this? I am your no, mother. No, what you are right now is a waste of my time, all right? So just back off. Jeez, you already got the mansion. Why do you want to talk to me? Because I love you, and you're my son. Jeez, you're acting like a poor loser right now, just like Tom. Tom is the reason why we have all of this. Stop treating everyone like this. Now you're going to take Tom's side. You're not even worth my time I anymore. am your mother. I am always going to be worth your time, and so is Tom. You want to be just like Tom? Then be like him. You're out of the mansion. 
What? Yeah, that's right. I have full possession over the money. I'm rich and I can do whatever I want. Oh man, I'm late to my yacht appointment. Mom, what are you doing here? Come in. Tom, it's just awful. Slow I don't... down. You okay? No, Jerry just kicked me out of the mansion and now I'm living on the street. Oh my gosh, how could he do something like this? I, I don't know. I just wanted to spend time with him and I want to have a relationship with him, but he honestly could care less. I know, Mom. He's a different person. The money's destroying him. It's like a disease. I'm just heartbroken. We're supposed to be a family. I'm so angry, Mom. I'm sorry I ever brought this money into our house. It's not your fault, Tom. I know we were angry because you were lying to us, but this is outrageous. This is all Jerry. I just wish that Jerry was different. I'm not going to let him keep doing this, Mom. Something's got to stop with him. I'm getting that money back tonight. Man, Jerry's gonna pay for the way he treated mom. Whoa, 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 Tom, Tom, wait up. What's up, man? You told me what you planned on doing? Are you really gonna steal that money back? It's not his in the first place, it's mine. And after what he did to my mom, he deserves it. If you think that this is the right thing to do, then all right, Tom, just do what you think's best. But I'm not gonna be a part of it, I think it's wrong. There they are. Chaw, dude, that yacht was so much fun. Yeah, man, it's so sick. I love that you got all this money now, because, like, now we can really be friends. You know what I'm saying? Chaw, dude, now that my mom's out of the picture, this mansion is all to myself. I can't believe it. He thinks this is funny? I'm not doing this. There it is. There's all my money. All of it. He's never going to see this money again. Man, I can't wait to get these tests. Where is it, Tom? I don't know what you're talking about. Where's what? Don't you lie to me. I know that you took it. Oh, you mean the money that's mine? I took it back. Yeah, maybe. You had no right. I had every right. You robbed me, dude. And then you kicked our mother out of a mansion that I bought that you live in. No, it's my money, so give it back, all right? That is my mansion. No, dude, it's mine, okay? And you're lucky you even got anything from me. You and mommy, you guys are just poor losers. You'll never understand me, and you'll never understand what to do with money. That's exactly why I don't ever want to see you again, man. The money changed you. Yeah, well, this all began because of you lying. I'm not going to apologize, not to you, not to anyone. Well, you do you then, but you're not getting anything from me ever again, and I don't want to see your face until you come back and apologize. That dude stole all the money back? Yeah, he did, man. I have nothing. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You don't have anything anymore? You're a broke loser? Again? No, I'm still the same guy. I just need to get my money no, back. No, 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 dude. You're not the same guy. You're broke now. Hey. What's that supposed to mean? That means I can't hang out with you, dude. Are you kidding me? Uh, you can't do that. Uh, I, I thought you were my friend. Yeah, I thought you were my friend too. And then you became broke like an idiot. Maybe I'll go steal the money back from Tom. My dad would be so proud if I was even richer than him. He'd be like, where'd you get the money? And I'd be like, a job, man. And he'd be like, whoa. No, no, you can't do that. Dude, I can do whatever I want. I'm rich. Wait, Tom, why are we back at the mansion? I don't think we should live in this place anymore, Mom. I think we should let other families share this place so that they can get up back on their feet. Wow, Tom, that's a really good idea. We need to use this money to make families' lives better, Mom, because it tore our family apart. And if we can't have our whole family together, maybe we can make a difference making other people's families whole. Well, I could never be more proud of you. I'm so happy that the money didn't get to your head. I know I already said it, but I'm really sorry about everything. It's okay, Mom. I love you, and I understand it was a weird time for everybody. But look, I'm going to donate a ton of money, and we should start another fundraiser and see if other billionaires will donate money. And then once we do that, we can help so many more people. Maybe we can hold the fundraiser at the mansion. If we do that, then we can probably make a lot of money for all these other families. Let's do it tonight. I'm sure I can get everybody around. Hey, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited that you're all here. We were really poor, and sometimes we didn't have money to eat, but we always stuck together, and that was the important thing. And now that things have changed and we've made some money, I want to make sure that we're giving back to other people so that they can have the same opportunities that we have. So I'm asking everyone here tonight to help support this fundraiser. Oh, inspirational! Yeah, Tom! He used to be the landlord of that guy. Security, we got to get rid of this guy. Wait, wait, no, no, Tom, Tom. Listen, man, I I'm sorry, all right? I I've messed up. Stop lying, Jerry. We're trying to help people. It's not about you anymore. Don't you get I, that? I promise. I'm not making it about me, all right? I, I, I wish I could just take it all back, all right? I've had enough, dude. You've said this a million times. I know that you're lying. You need to leave or the security's gonna escort you out of here. You don't understand, all right? Uh, Butch, he, he's planning... The alarm's at my house. They're going off. Someone's broken in. 
Hey, what are you doing in my house? Oh, what's it look like, man? I'm just grabbing some money. Dude, that's my money. You can't just come in here and take it. Uh, like, yeah, I can, dude, okay? You can't stop me. The police are probably on their way. The alarm's been going off for a little while now. Yeah, whatever, man. I'll be fine. Just let me take the rest of your money. No, we're not going to. The police are here. What? What are you doing here, man? You think you're just gonna steal like I was gonna do? Doing this for my brother, all right? That money's rightfully his. Wait, really? Look, I I'm sorry, all right? I don't know how many more times I have to say it. I made a bunch of mistakes, and I hope this makes up for it. Police officer, arrest that man. What? No! No! Please! Leave me alone! No!